Coming up, build your own ear-shattering bagpipes. Repair a rusty wheel with homemade coconut oil. Make your own mini garden. And put the power of air to the test. Oh, Dana, I can see you need a real blast of air to tame your hair. <laughs> Thanks very much, Taryn. But I'll have you know, this little hair dryer is nothing. If you want a real blast of air, wait till you see what Billy and the gang are about to come up with. Deep in the jungle, Beck and I are trying to ambush Giovanni and Emily in a game of team tag. I've got a feeling they're around here somewhere. Better get some more paper pellets ready for our blow shooters. Only one left. It's not looking good, Beck. Look out! It's them! And they've ambushed us. Let's get out of here. Well, I think we lost that round. Phew! If we're gonna win next time, we're gonna need a much more scary blaster than this little tube. Hey, come on, Beck. I've just had an idea. I'm gonna make a jumbo air blaster to shock the socks off those two sneaks. I've got an elastic strap, a rubber band, an old shower curtain, and a bucket with a hole cut through the bottom. This is going to be a blast. Grace and I are decorating for a party tonight. You can never have too many balloons at a party. And I know a classic balloon party trick. Hey, Grace, check this out. One cardboard tube, one ordinary party balloon. You know what I'm going to do with them? Here's a clue. See if you can work it out. First, I attach the balloon to the end of the tube. Now I'll pop an elastic band around here to help keep it in place. OK, watch this. A few big breaths through the tube. Then I hold the neck of the balloon closed and squeeze it under my arm. At the same time, I loosen my grip on the neck. Now do you know what it is? It's a bagpipe, silly. Doesn't it make the most beautiful music you've ever heard? All sound is made by vibration. Air flowing through the stretched neck of the balloon causes it to vibrate. Fast vibrations make a high note, slow vibrations a low note. Jade's balloon bagpipes may not sound as good as the real thing, but they do work in much the same way. Uh, maybe they do sound just as good as the real thing. People just don't appreciate beautiful music, do they, Grace? <laughs> I don't know, Taryn. I'm not sure whether the bagpipes make beautiful music or they just put out a really horrible sounding blast of air. I think you're right. And speaking of blasts of air, it's time to get back to our game of Jungle Tag. <laughs> Round one of Jungle Tag went to the very sneaky team of Giovanni and Emily. They tagged us with pellets, fired from a plastic tube. But this game is only just getting started. We're building a super air blaster using this bucket. First we take our shower curtain and cut out a square large enough to cover the top of the bucket. I'm going to wrap an elastic band around a twist in the middle of the plastic. This will help me pull the plastic out again after firing the blaster. Now we tie the elastic strap around the rim of the bucket to hold the plastic in place. There, one super air blaster ready to strike fear into the hearts of Emily and Giovanni. I just give the plastic a whack and a whoosh of air comes out through the hole in the bucket. Hmm, let's see if we can find out how much air comes out. I'm going to load up the air blaster with talcum powder. This time when I whack it, we'll be able to see the air coming out. Here goes. Yeah, there she blows. A perfect pop of powder. Watch out, Giovanni and Emily. It's time for our revenge. Air is so weird. 
can't see it. I can't even feel it most of the time. So how do I know it's really there? I think I need to show that air really exists. OK, I've got everything I need for this air-brained idea. I'll flatten out this large piece of plasticine. Next, mould it around the top of the jar and stick the funnel through the plasticine. Make sure there are absolutely no air gaps. Now a dollop of food colouring. That'll let me see what's happening. Now into the funnel it goes. Good so far. The jar's filling up. Hmm, just as I'd hoped. The water has slowed down to a trickle. There's still water in the funnel. Now it's stopped altogether. It must be too full with air. I'll just make sure. I'll let some air out. Yeah! The water started to flow again. I proved that air really is there. As Nicole began pouring water into her jar, the air trapped inside became more and more squashed. Eventually, it became so squashed that the pressure it exerted was enough to resist the pressure of the water pouring in. No more water could get into the jar until the pressure was released. Nicole's clever air jar shows that air pressure really is a force to be reckoned with. Dad says seeing is believing. But now even though I can't see air, I really do believe it's there. Good one, Nicole. Thick or thin, air really is there after all. And talking about making something out of thin air, let's see how some other clever kids come up with an ingenious solution to their rusty wheelbarrow problem. Shakiba and I are doing some clearing up in the backyard. Uh-oh, this wheel seems to be stuck. Maybe it's gone rusty. Hey, Shakib, go and get us a coconut from the top of that tree. I'm going to make some coconut oil. Put on a nice big one. Perfect. OK. We've opened up the coconut and grated up lots of its flesh. I'm going to add some water and mash it up in this bowl. Lots of mashing. Now we dip it onto a cloth and squeeze the thick juice out. I'll pour it into this glass and wait a few minutes while the oil rises to the top. There! That thick white stuff on top is my coconut oil. Let's take a few scoops to the wheelbarrow. Tip it over, Shakib, and let's try our oil. On it goes. There! It's working better already. Coconut oil to the rescue. Coconuts are a fruit and a nut. The fleshy insides contain chemicals that combine to make oil. Oil can be used as a lubricant to reduce the friction between two rough surfaces, like the rusty axle on that wheelbarrow. Thanks to coconut oil, we finished cleaning up the garden. Now there's time for a swim. It's a great day for gardening, and I want to plant these flower seeds. But I don't have a garden. What I need is my own mini greenhouse. I'll make it out of this drink bottle. First I'll cut it in half. Now I need some soil. Got it! I'll borrow a bit from this garden bed. I'll take some pebbles too. Now back upstairs before the gardener catches me. Phew! Now to fill up half the bottle the pebble sitting on the bottom. I'll make a couple of holes with my finger and pop the seeds in. Cover them up. Everything needs water to grow. I'll add just enough to collect at the bottom of the pebbles. Now here's the clever bit. Sealing up my bottle in this plastic bag will keep the soil moist. With plenty of water 
and sun, my seeds will sprout in no time. Hey, they are growing! Look how big they're getting! Ashley has created a biome, a self-sufficient environment. Large biomes have been built to see whether we could grow plants on other planets. Here's how they work. The water from the soil evaporates and forms droplets on the inside of the bag. This condensation then falls back into the soil. The bag also keeps the plants warm because it traps heat energy from the sun. And plants love to grow in warm, moist soil. There, a tiny rainforest in a concrete jungle. Oh, it's a jungle out there, Ashley. And you've made it a whole lot prettier. Speaking of jungles, I think that game of jungle tag is about to hot up big time. Beck and I have built the perfect weapon for winning backyard tag. It's a jumbo air blaster, capable of ruining a perfectly nice hairstyle with one devastating blast. Giovanni and Emily have no idea what's about to happen. One whack on my air blaster and it's game over. Hey, hey, you guys are it. Nice work, Beck. Round two definitely goes to us. Now the game is really on. The secret to Billy's blaster is air pressure. When the plastic sheet is suddenly pushed into the bucket, the air inside is squashed. It then forces its way out through the hole in a surprisingly strong blast. Beck and I are now the master blasters. Uh-oh. The garbage bin? They wouldn't, would they? They have! Whoa! It's a giant air blaster. And it smells like trash. Phew! I didn't think that game was going to end on such a smelly note. <laughs> Me either. But come to an end it has, Taryn. And so have we. See, See you next time. time.